Watkins is a first-term conservative Republican involved in a tough primary to stay in Congress. The Shawnee County District Attorney's Office has filed three felonies on him, voting without being qualified, unlawful advance voting, and interfering with law enforcement. To me, it's just obviously politically motivated, just like um, all the investigations of Donald Trump. His campaign points out Shawnee County Prosecutor Mike Kagay has the same political consulting firm, Singularis, as one of his main challengers, State Treasurer Jake LaTurner. Watkins says he mistakenly listed this UPS mailbox as his Topeka voting address for a local election last year. Congressman Watkins said that he lived at a UPS store because he didn't actually live in Kansas. That's unacceptable. Watkins says he quickly corrected that, listing his Topeka apartment. A third candidate, Dennis Taylor, says the controversy is not a congressional issue. D.A. Kagay says the charges are coming out now because the investigation was delayed by the coronavirus shutdown. Watkins doubts that. The charges came out right before a big campaign event. I think uh, the elephant in the room were these ridiculous charges that were brought up a half hour before the debate. Watkins' court date won't be until after the primary, so it's hard to assess how much damage the voter fraud charges will have on the coming primary. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News.